This is Professor Rudy, and this video is on examples using the menu command um, and also switch case statements. Um, so the menu command in MATLAB is a, a very simple um, user interface that you can use to give the user of the program options to choose from. Uh, so the way this works in a simple sense is you can ask the user to make a selection. So I like to use the variable name SEL for selection. Um, then the menu command. Then in this menu command, you, you have a lot of uh, inputs that you need to enter. The first one is a string, so single quotes, and that's going to be the kind of title for the menu. So this is where you want to tell the user what they're, what they're choosing. So for this simple example, I'm going to say heads or tails, make a choice. So that's the kind of title at the top then we need to give the user the options uh, to choose from so in this case they can choose heads or tails and that's it so but we can have as many options as we need to um, so let's just run this and see what this does so we see up here we've got this menu that pops up and it says heads or tails and uh, so we can make a choice if I say heads what happens is that selection variable takes the value 1 um, and the reason is because that was the first option so let's run this again and when I choose tails selection becomes 2 so that is um, how it works so you have these options you can have as many as you want and um, whatever the user clicks on this variable will take the value that corresponds to which numbered item that was on the list. Um, so this is a simple example using the menu. Now let's do a menu with what's called a switch case statement. Um, so we want to do the same thing. So selection is menu. Then for this one I'm going to say what would you like to do? Now, just in the interest of keeping things on the screen, um, I'm going to use uh, dot, 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 so three periods. What this lets me do is it lets me drop to the next line um, on the screen, but it's still the same line of code. So I'm still just entering that same menu command, but this way I can do this and keep it all on the screen. Um, so the first thing I'll say is maybe they want to plot something. Okay. Um, then maybe they want to do a calculation. Calculate 1 plus 1. I'd like to know what that is. Um, again, I'm going to use my dot 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 to go to the next line. I'll give them a third option. Show me something colorful. Um, so 3 is probably enough. Now again, we can do as many in here as we need to. But now, rather than just getting that selection, so we could get, we'll get a number 1, 2, or 3 but then let's use that for something so that's where uh, the switch case statement becomes useful the way this works is you use switch and then you enter the variable that you're interested in and what this will do is this says alright for this variable then we can look at different cases um, so on the next line we can do case one when the when the selection is equal to one we will do this stuff um, so we could say so this first option would be plot something um, so we could do, let's just create some time vector and then do a plot of t and some function of t. I'll just do a line. All right. And it's also a good idea in here. Sometimes um, it makes things a lot easier if you're real explicit in what your cases are. So this case one was the plot something case. Next, I'll do my second case. That was calculate 1 plus 1. So, again, let me go here and say calculate 1 plus 1. And then here I'll do that. 1 plus 1. Great. Third case was something colorful. So, don't worry about where I'm getting this from, but I've got a way to do something colorful. But here's the idea. You can use this menu to give options, and then you have the different cases, and whatever that case was corresponding to, you can put different lines of code in here. So you can do different things. You can do plots, you can do calculations, whatever you need. Um, and this is how you can let the user decide what the code's going to do. Um, so let's go ahead and run this. First, we've got our heads or tails. Tails. 
Then we've got these options. So what would you like to do? Plot something, calculate 1 plus 1, or show me something colorful. Uh, let's do something colorful. And then we got this to pop up. So the selection became 3. We got this something colorful. And then um, we were done. So this is a way to use the menu to have the, the code do something once. Now we can also modify this. Uh, and let, let me just copy this whole thing and then the addition here is that let's make it a loop let's let it continue to offer choices until the user is done so we still want to do this command this menu but I want to add a final option that lets the user exit we have to give them a chance to to finish then before we enter the switch statement we'll use a while loop and we can say while that selection and in this case we have this would be selection one two three and four so as long as we're not getting four we should continue to do stuff so I could do this by saying while the selection is less than four so while it's one two or three we'll enter the loop so then this all of this is inside the loop now so I'm going to indent that so it's formatted nicely so as long as the selection is less than four we're going to come in here and do something uh, now what we need to do then though is we get through this loop if we just ended the loop we'll come back up the selection won't change we'll just keep looping through over and over and over again so we need to take this statement and we can just copy it directly put that in here so now we've got this first menu then we enter the loop and then we're going to keep asking at the end of the loop um, now once we close the loop we come down we do something then we ask again what do you want to do now and then we come up and check and made sure the user didn't want to exit but if they didn't want to exit we'll do something else and we will continue to loop so let's go through this so heads or tails heads uh, would you like to do plot something okay that was the first one without the loop now we're in the one with the loop so here I could say calculate one plus one and then down in the command window here we see that we got that answer of two uh, maybe I want to plot something again show me something colorful plot something calculate one plus one calculate one plus one again we can keep doing stuff here but as soon as I click exit we're gonna leave the program so those are some examples on how to use the menu command, uh, switch case statements, and how to uh, combine that all with a while loop to get a pretty um, handy user-driven program. Thank you.